Hey guys, what's up? Crazy Beatballer here. And this is a video that I kind of wanted to make. I saw something similar to it. Actually, pretty similar to it on Jared HD. I, I believe it's J A R R A D H D. And pretty much what this series is, I don't know if I'm making it into a series, but I just, I like Milan. Uh, is you bring them back to their glory. Milan used to be the team to go to. I know Ebro was there, Kako was there, plenty of other legends. Those are just the two that come to my mind right away. And now, uh, even El Shirar we left. They got like Bonaventura, and Donnarumma even wants to leave. So we're going to go back to Milan and bring them to the former glory that they once had, and we're going to win the Champions League with them. I'm going to sim all the match. Ooh, we get to make a coach. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to sim all the matches. I'm going to make myself Mr. Winner. And I do want to put a disclaimer. I'm sorry if I sell one of the players you like. Sorry if I buy a player you hate or something like that. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to go into. I just like being Brazilian. And, yeah, so let's get the season underway. I will not be playing any games or anything. And I'm just going to kind of simulate get players and check on it every once in a while so this is the squad we are rolling with currently uh the midfield looks a little bit weak where's bonaventura we got sosa on the bench who's decent we got suso the names are exactly the same honda is low rated delafeo delafo it's pretty good where's but oh there he is why is he on the bench we're putting him right in screw pasolik Wait, was Pasolik better stats-wise? No, okay, good. Um, Zapata's good as well. And Montalivo, what the heck? Why is this team... I hate the way they have the team sometimes. Maybe in real life they're different, but in the game, don't do that. Don't do that to me. But, yeah, so... Okay, this... <laughs> I really don't like Paleta just because he's slow. So I don't like using him. My first order of business, though, is going to be getting wingbacks. And I kind of want to get that uh, Italian striker dude. But we need midfielders and wingbacks. So let, I'm going to work on getting that. And I'll, bring back, I'll come back to you guys when I've made signings. Okay, this might not be a signing, but holy crap. Look at all these fucking players they have loaned out. And Delafoe's only loaned? No! Whenever we lose Delafoe, we need to get Niang back. I just wanted to show you this real quick. Okay, so we have gotten Fozu Mensa on loan. I forgot to show that. But we're also going to be picking up Jacob Jenkto. He's 74 rated with an 85 potential. We're also going to be signing Jedvaj, who is... 75 rated he's kind of a right back center back but he's also got an 85 potential and we got him for 11.5 all these people i'm signing really want much bigger contracts than they were offered before so i did let honda go sadly but he's old and he wasn't doing too well and sorry i also said paletta he's slow and i just have like one of those grudges against him for no reason I also figured I'd throw this in. We made it to the finals of this European or summer competition, whatever it is. We've already beat Marseille, and they beat us in the finals, so we lost. I just wanted to show you guys what happened if anything did happen. And Polly is gone for 6.5 million. Antonelli is gone for 7.5 million. So this is our updated team. Kaka is complaining he wants to play, so I'm letting him play. Fozu Mensa, he's a right back for some reason. Does it, yeah, it shows he can be a CDM. So I'm playing at CBDM just because that's what he does at Man United, or at least that's what his card is. Bonaventure is still there. Jedvaj is also a new signing. I definitely like Delafo. Delafeo. Delafo. Why am I having such a hard time with his name? Suso, um, I'm going to keep an eye on. I'm definitely looking at some wingers like Lozano. And then we also have Jankto on the bench, who's a new signing, but because Kaka wants to play. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Supercopa, I think it was called, against Juventus Supercopa. We're simming all our games, I'm not going to play any, except I might play the Champions League final, but I don't know, I'll figure it out. So we lose the Supercopa, that kind of stinks. 
When we actually play champion... Oh, I forgot about the guy talking. When we actually play... So obviously one of the big potential boys is Dahoud. So we're signing him on for 24 mil. We did get that extra money from people. And we're looking for a few more signings. <laughs> Kaka's like feeling threatened like he's going to leave. And he doesn't want to be off the team and wants to play a bunch. Well, fuck him. He's leaving now. Please take him, Southampton. Welcome to the club, Lozano, you pacey little motherfucker. Alright, so we sold around Magnoli for 21 mil. That's a pretty decent chunk of change for him, so I'm happy with that. We get that boy, Kurt Zuma. Hopefully he doesn't do anything stupid and break his leg. And do we also get him? No, no, we don't get him. So as you can see, I was pretty busy on transfers, this uh, transfer window. We brought in Fosu Mensa on loan, Jenkto, Jedvaj, Dahoud, and Lozano. And I believe Zuma should be on that list as well, but it's not long enough. We got rid of Honda, Paletta, Poli, Antonelli, and Kaka. We, we got to get we gotta get ourselves to, uh, to the Champions League. I don't even know if we qualified or if we have a chance to be in like the group stage this year. I know Mil Milan didn't make it in there this year why is this so slow what the heck there we go alright so I'll show you guys the team the finalized team everybody's out right now oh no Donnarumma you don't need to do bad so we did get Zuma to come in here so Gomez you can jump out Zuma is going to replace the pot I guess yeah Fosu months I don't know what I want to do because I have a lot of midfielders Lozano we'll have him start the next game Bone of it, or yeah, and then we'll take Jankto out and let uh, oh, we'll do this. We'll put Fosu Mensa there, and then we'll put Vangioni in so he can play. Actually, wait, this is gonna need to be the squad that I use for like the whole thing. So I'm gonna do who, who did I have? Jankto, yeah, so that's kind of gonna have to be how I roll it. I signed... Oh, nobody I signed on is going to be a sub. I think Lozano should be a sub. Suso can stay. So this is how our season's going to go. I'm going to simulate all the way till the next transfer window. And we'll check on how Milan is doing in all the competitions it's in. So I'll be back in probably a while. So it's halfway through the season. As you can see, we're not really in the top scorers. Delafo has uh, seven goals, so he's up there. He's probably one of our best players, but Jermaine got recently transferred to Roma, I guess, Roma, I guess and he's gone off. And the table, we're sitting about mid-table. We can possibly still pull it back. It would be very difficult, especially against the likes of Juventus, Lazio, and Inter. Torino's actually kind of surprising me up there, but oh, I remember when Dybala was at Palermo. And then the rest of the stuff, we saw the Super Copa. Copa Nacional, I think that we just get in there anyways uh, lost America's invite we saw that lost in the finals and that's all the tournaments we're in now so it's definitely going to be a little challenging to get to the Champions League especially without playing any but we're going to try to build up our team even better so I'll see how some of the players are doing and get new ones if need be what the hell just happened you were on the bench I know that but you two were in the team the entire season. I didn't. I left you in the team. What happened? Team sheets. This should be the only one. Yeah, that's the only one. You guys were in it. I'll have to figure that out, but I don't want to get rid of them. Montalivo is gone. Since it's the only thing we got at this point, let's watch the Copa Nacional and hope we can beat, I assume, Gomez and his strike force of Atlanta. Or, Gomez is a strike force. And they don't even use... Oh, yeah, they do. But Baca doesn't give a shit. He just scores. Hopefully Lozano, Jenkto, and Dahoud are going to be like, Oh, no, you guys are so great. You played me and they'll like to stay. So, Delafoe, yes! That looks like we might get past the round of 16. Because there's not much time for them to make a comeback. Ten minutes left. And that will end it. 2-0. Out of boy Delafoe and Baca working together. 
Mm. Hell yeah. I don't remember how much we bought him for, but the hood is gone. Yay. And soon the rent Lozano is going to be gone. So what I went ahead and did is I got Niang back because we need him. So this is what the team looks like now. I converted him over to a left back. Zapata and Zuma are going to be our central center backs. I was trying to get Socrates, but he didn't want to come. So right now we're kind of stuck with them. Abate is still playing sick. Fosu Mensa, we've moved back up to a midfield role. Jengto and Bonaventura are in the midfield. We're trying to sign Batshuayi currently, so we might change up the formation to have less midfielders. I'm not too sure what we'll do when that happens. But Batshuayi, I love Batshuayi, so I want him to come. Calm, calm. Batshuayi coming for 36 mil plus Irving Lozano. Come here, baby. I love you, Batshuayi. Come play for me, the Twitter god. Sosa is gone. And the last player of the trios that I signed that wanted to leave is now gone. Alright, so we're going into the semi-finals against Napoli in the Copia, Copa Nacional. Which I just... Oh, Batshuayi. His debut scores in the first minute of his debut. Can't get any better than that, except it would be a little bit better if Insigne didn't score. Come on, don't take us out of this. Come on, our boys. No. Come on, guys. How are we going to make it to the Champions League if you can't even win in the, your nation's cup? <sighs> no. <laughs> That's a GG. I just skipped it. I don't even care. We lost that one. So, our best chance now is just to keep trucking away in our season and hope we can make our way up and get some money, I guess. I don't know. We are signing a midfielder, Fernando. <laughs> Look at our money. So I was quite busy. I had to sell Lozano, Dahoud, and Jankto. Sosa and Montalivo I sold. Batshuayi, Fernando, and St. Just is actually a new center back. I didn't show you guys. I forgot to record that part. But St. Just is a center back we got. He's got pretty good potential. And we needed a center back because Zapata and Zuma can't do it on their own. So that's what our team is looking like. Hopefully Baka doesn't play like, too much crap for too long. Alright, I don't know if like the when I simulated it it's, does its own thing, but I got a message that this guy got injured. Why was he even playing? He's on the reserves. I want these guys playing. But it looks like some of our players have grown pretty well and I'm liking that except Bonaventure. But I'm liking that. And then let's see how we finished in the league. Tenth, so right in the middle it looks like. Yeah. Juventus win it, not a big surprise there, but not the greatest performance from us. Hopefully next season we'll come out a lot stronger. Is that Delafo? Oh my gosh, he went off. He scored so many goals. Do we have anybody else up there? Nope. Delafo is just carrying our team goal scoring wise. So we'll get into the next season and hopefully make some more key signings or something. So we got a lot of players back from loan. <laughs> I want to buy him. Wait, if you think he was a good fit, you may want to look in the... <gasps> I want to buy the LFO. So we get a lot of players back. I don't actually give a shit about checking all that, but I, I definitely want to pursue Delafo in my next uh, season. So I'll see you guys when the next season starts. So we're going to go ahead and pick a tournament. I always like choosing the middle one just because it's easy but not super easy. And I'm also going to be training my players this time. Last time I just skipped fully. This time I'll, I'll simulate all the games, but I want to train my players up. Bonaventura is gone. Locatelli is gone. Cutron is gone. Okay, I know I probably overspent way too much. I paid 60 mil and then I paid him a ton in wages. But I really fucking wanted him, boys. I really wanted Delfo back. Even though I don't know how to say his name or spell it. But we got him back. So we are getting this young boy, Alexander Isaac. He's apparently pacey and prolific. So we're grabbing him. We're going to be grabbing... Ooh, do we want him or him? This guy's super cheap. I think platinheart has got potential and he's already pretty good. So we're going to take Plattenhardt. And I think... Let's go look at our team. Yeah, yeah, we got new signings. 
Uh, let's go look at our team and see how good are we right now. So we got Plattenheart. They can go in for this guy. Isaac, who will get better hopefully, can go in there. You can come out. And then we can go after one more midfielder and I think I'll be happy there. Said yeah, just doing good. everybody's doing good. Except we probably want a backup keeper as well. Or at least once Donnarumma tells us Donnarumma said he might want to leave, which kind of sucks. But we all know that happened in real life too. So yeah, we'll see who else I get this transfer. And we are accepting Sigurdsson as a midfielder. Let's go. That's the last signing I think we'll need to make, obviously for this transfer window, because we're pretty much done with this one. But uh, yeah, I think that's the last. What? GG to them, I guess. And that club. And here is us. We got rid of quite a few players, but we also bought three good players. And Isaac should hopefully get good. I really hope. Oh, Griezmann goes to Man United. That always happens. But holy crap. Big transfer. I always like watching these top deals. They fend the watch. It's just like, oh gosh. they. Oh, we got an offer. This is what goes on. Kurt Zuma, fuck off. All right, so that's Alex in the background if you hear him, but this is our new keeper. Oh, I can talk. Did I just looking to bring this team back? Just to show you guys, yeah. th this is this is what happened. Donovan wants to leave. It's not my choice. At age 18, he's like, fuck you guys. All right, so we're definitely doing a lot better than last year halfway through the season. We are fifth in the uh, table instead of 11th. We're definitely keeping in the race. Juventus is still looking strong. At least right now we're qualified for Europa League competition, which isn't Champions League, but it's a step up from last year. Uh, we're still in the Copa Nacional. now. We haven't played much of that. We once again did not win our European competition. And I don't think anything else qual like I don't think anything else matters about us. That's where we should be, the Champions League. Napoli made it and Juventus made it. Big surprise. And I think that's it. So our team is looking pretty decent. Donnarumma, like I said, does want to leave. So I'm gonna if I can't get anyone to trade with me, I'm probably going to like go after Courtois and offer Donnarumma and some money or something like that. But if I can't get anybody, I'm sending him to like Morecambe or something like that. Just to say fuck you, because he, he cannot be disrespecting me like that. I own his ass. So we're going to try to upgrade the team a little bit, and yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. And there were a couple other people that are mad at me for not playing them, but you know what? They're not going to get us to Champions League. Lapadula goes to Montpellier. He's going poop, and I signed Trap. So, by the way, me getting Trap does mean Donnarumma is gone. I traded Trap plus 9 million. Uh, or I traded Donnarumma plus 9 million to get Trap. Which, they probably got a better deal on, but at least I got rid of Donnarumma, and I got a keeper back. Gabriel's not happy with me. But, fuck it, he's not playing. So, <laughs> doesn't matter. Zapata is gone. Ellie has been sold, as well as Abate. Abate's getting old, and he just had to go. So we actually made more money than uh, lost money this time. We got a keeper and another keeper, and we got rid of a bunch of older people that weren't playing anymore. So yeah, that's the end of this transfer window. I'll update you guys on the table, because a few more games were played. Oh my god. Okay, he's only out for two days. That's good. We'll have him playing and ready. So we are at 44 points. We're doing better. We're pretty close to being Champions League ready. We might not win the title against Juventus. We obviously lost this, which sucked. But, uh, yeah, we're getting close to being able to win the title. I mean, not the title, uh, Champions League football. So I'll update you guys towards the end of the season. <laughs> All right, guys. So we... We at least made it to the Euro League or whatever. It's holy shit! Look at that goal difference at the bottom, 54. That's a shit ton. But yeah, we we almost caught Roma right at the end, but we weren't able to. But at least we're gonna be in. Oh, Roma and Juventus are going head to head in the end of the Copa Nazionale. We already saw all that crap. Let's see who the Golden Boot winner is. And after that, I'll see you guys in the next season where we will have quite a bit of money to spend, hopefully. Oh shit. 
You're bad at this game. No, I'm not. I'm the best. Delafo and Suso, number four and number five. The only other team that has two in the top eight is Dybala and Bruma from Juventus. I wanted Bruma, actually. I almost tried to get him. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next season. Let's All right, boys. We can win this and we go up to first place. <laughs> All right, boys. Gabriel sold for eight mil. We're look, look. We're in talks with fucking Royce. Where is he? He doesn't want to talk anymore. We, we somehow got him. So choosing a new target and <gasps> he doesn't want to talk anymore at all. <laughs> I was trying to stall him. Fuck! I got. He was worth 103 million. They're like, fuck you. We don't pay 60 million. He's worth 103. So I was like, what about 61? And they're like, all right, sure. You can have them. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's ah. better than 60. Um. So I guess I'll go after Coutinho. Casey, would you suck a Would you suck a dick that had HIV for 60 dollars, or would you do it for 61? Throw on three more dollars and I'll do it. All right, yeah, you still have a deal. <sighs> oh shit, guys! I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to do this, but Niang's gone because I was trying to get Royce. <laughs> oh and, yeah, that didn't work out for you, huh? And Coutinho, well, maybe Coutinho will come. They said that he's not for sale at any price, but so did, so did Dortmund. Boys, we fucking finally d oh my god, he's 89 rated and 33 years old, but who fucking cares, it's Ronaldo. We have n we have 2 million left, but we bought Ronaldo. If you, if you lose, Fuck I'm Royce. just gonna be disappointed in you. Fuck Royce. I, if oh, I lose, man, I I that. That if dope. I lose, I'm quick selling Ronaldo and Ultimate Team. But you never stated what oh, I'd lose, so. Send him, send him to the second league in, in England. <laughs> You've been banished from all of football. Sign like a Z. Alright, look at these boys. 71 oh. into 91 potential. 78 to 94 potential. I don't think we'll need them, but it'll be nice to have these boys on the bench. They'll be future first team players, I guess. I have but Dumbia. we're gonna sign oh, both. Dumbia's of them. Actually, yeah. when he comes back, that's pretty dope. I have Dumbia. Alright, guys, so this is how we're sitting. Not too excited about that, but it's halfway through the season. I think we can definitely turn it around. We're not too far from Juventus. In the Copa Nacional, we obviously made it in. European Shield. We won that in penalties, as you saw. And if it'll ever load the next thing, Champions Cup, obviously we're not there. But in the Euro League, we'll have to look at table view. I hate how slow this fucking is. It, when it loads everything, it goes so slow. So it's a table view. Please. Please. I, I just, I really want to look at the table view. There we go. Don't you dare switch back. Oh my god. You know what? We're doing good. We're doing good in the Euro League. Just take my word for it. We're definitely going to qualify. So that's how I think we're going to need to get into the Champions League. Everybody's playing pretty well. And yeah, the only problem is we're kind of low on money after that Ronaldo. So we might have to sell him and just get somebody else who's really good. Yeah, actually I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and sell Ronaldo cuz he hasn't been playing all that great and I don't have enough money to sign some people that I want to keep. He's worth 50k. 50 mil, I mean. Fuck. So Jed Badge left cuz he wanted to. Now we got money. Alright, so we're trading Ronaldo for Musa. Let's go. <laughs> and we also, in six months' time, we'll get Martial because we snuck in and got him. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to sh say this. Alex, you know how I was going after Dybala? Mm -hmm. Well, Barcelona got him for $195 million. They overpaid. I could have had him. Alright, so this is the closest we've been to champion stuff. So we're going to watch... The Salta Viga Milan match. And Alex might add stuff about his career mode because he's doing the same thing with Roma. I'm doing way better. Except than he cheated. Though. He cheated. He got the I the money cheats. takeover. And you tried to give I one to me, but I'm not have backing sexual out. Sexual allegations with that woman. I didn't say woman, I said man. I know uh, what you're doing to Rüdiger. I am not a crook. <laughs> I am not a crook. 
Platten Hart scores. And we're away, I believe. Oh, fuck. But we got an away goal, so it's tied. That's all right. A way in Spanish actually means an idiot. Just kidding, it means a dummy. Same thing. All right, so it's still 1-1. There's lots of stuff going oh, on. Shit. Oh, shit, they scored. No. Did he just get a yellow and a red card all in the same time? Oh, yes. My fucking left back has scored both of our away goals. We got two away Boys. goals. Boys, you guys need to pick your shot back. Let's go. All right, second leg. Wait, I didn't even check if we were away at home. I'm not too sure. I know the first game was 2-2. I hope it was away. This will tell me, I think, if it ever loads in. Come on. I'm in ninth place. What the fuck? <laughs> you said you were in first place. earlier, you cocky bitch. Uh, Milan versus Celta Vigo, so that means I think we're home now. So as long as we don't tie 2-2 two -two or lose, and it, it, it's 2-2. Two -two. Let's just let's just win. Let's just win. Come on, Plattenhart. You're super tired. Please don't get injured. Delafoe, yes. Now it's 3-2 with us leading on away goals. Zuma's injured, of fucking course. Take him out, coach. Take him out. He's hurt. Suso, boy. We're winning 4-2. Finally, Zuma comes out. Pot and Hart's so tired. Why don't you take him out, too? Oh, my God. Whatever. We won. We made it to the round of 16. We're going to the Euro League. We made it, boys. All right. We're in the round of 16. We're home right now, so we don't want to give up any away goals. Let's hope we can get some goals for us. Right. Because we've and been Bob's pretty strong. His role in the team, so it's time to play him before <laughs> he wants out. Let's if you don't know, he's that. he's like poaching a bunch of strikers and just keeping them all on the bench until he sells them all. Shh. It's illegal. I don't know if it is, but. I am. So what's your point? <laughs> all right, there we go. Finally, let's not give up any away goals. I could have luck as a. Alright, that's a yellow card. And we give him an away goal. Come on, let's get a goal back, though. It's alright if we can get a goal back. Alright, well, there's halftime. Oh, Alonzo scores right behind before halftime. boy Marcus Alonzo. And they score another away goal. This is... Guys, come on, we really need to get in the Champions League. And they score again. Mm, at least score one. Yes! Alright, that makes us closer. It's 2-3 to three going into our next game. They're leading on away goals as well, but the next game is away, so I can, if I can score, I'll be good. Alright, we're playing away now, so that's good, but also not good. The aggregate score is 3-2 to two for them, so if I score one goal, it'll be 3-3, three, three, but I only have one away goal, so I need two away goals. I need just this win. Unless the game ends up being 3-2, but I hope that doesn't happen either. But they are home, and they beat us at home, so... Oh, come on, my boys. Come on. We really need to win this. There's the yellow card. That's all right. Come on, come on. Score, we need a goal. Suso, come on, we need one more. We're, we're tied, but they're winning on away goals, I think. Come on. Tell you. 20 minutes. Yeah, I know, but I want to know. Oh, GG. It was 3-3 aggregate, but they scored three away goals. I only scored one. We get knocked out of the fucking EuroLeague. But look, we're doing good in the le this league, so we might get the champion. All right, guys, we did it. We did it. We made it to the Champions League. See you guys in the next season. <laughs> we next team. Tournament prize money, 44 mil, even though they're going to take it all away from me. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, Fernando. You're leaving anyways. So we did just lose the summer competition. We made it to the semifinals, lost against Dortmund 2-1. And I'm trying to go to my mailbox to see if any of the players I was selling sold. But it's not letting me go to my mailbox or do anything for that matter. There we go. Player sold. Yep, Vergara is sold. We did pretty good in that. Our next game, I believe, is a Champions League game.